Hi, kids. I'm Brian, and we are here as part of the Brain Bank Reading Series. Today, we're going to read a book called Seeds. Seeds. What are seeds? In Korean, you say "si" or "siot." Isn't that interesting? In English, "yongoro," we say "seed." In Korean, Hangukoro, you say si. Oh, 너무 재밌어요. 영어로 와 한국어 진짜 비슷한데요, right? It's really similar. They're almost the same. Seeds, si. 어떻게 했어요? Well, that's very interesting. Sometimes, sometimes, 가끔에 you can find similar. Features of English and Korean, but sometimes not always. I'm sorry, but okay. But in this case, seeds and see. Interesting. Let's learn about seeds. Okay. In our book, we have a table of contents. A table of contents. This tells us what topic. Is on which page? This is the page number. This is the topic. So the first topic, seeds. What page? Page two. Here, this topic, animals and seeds. Right? Dongmu wa si. Okay. What page? Page eight. And down here. People and seeds, right? Saram wa si. People and seeds. What page? Twelve. Ship icho, right? Page twelve. So we will talk about these different topics on these different pages. Let's begin with seeds. Here we see a lot of pictures. And some text. Look at this picture here first. What do you see? Do you know these types of flowers? What kind of flowers are these? Do you know? These are sunflowers. Sunflowers. And this girl, it, what is she doing? What is this here? This is a pail. What's inside the pail? It's mul. Water. Why does she have a water pail? Because she's watering the plants. She's helping them to grow to be big. Why do we want sunflowers to grow big? Why? Because we eat sunflower seeds. Ah, masisoyo, and they are healthy. They are good for you. So many people eat sunflower seeds. In fact, we eat many kinds of seeds. We eat sunflower seeds. We eat sesame seeds. Where do you find odi chajasoyo? Where do you find sesame seeds? Do you know? If you go to McDonald's or Lotteria. And you have a hamburger on the bread, bang eso on the top. You can see little seeds. Those are sesame seeds. Some bread, not all bread, but some bread. And pumpkin seeds, hobak, hobakshi, right? Hobak uh, seeds. I like pumpkin seeds. They're good. Okay, they're tasty. So these are kinds of seeds. That are good to eat. Let's read together. A seed is part of a plant's life cycle. Remember, a life cycle is a cycle or circle that shows the time when different things happen. An animal or a plant is born. It grows. It gets bigger. It becomes an adult. It has seeds or babies of its own, 
and the cycle starts again. That's a life cycle. The seed is part of the life cycle. The seed is the beginning of the life cycle. The beginning. Just like this is the beginning of this book. Okay? Seeds come from plants. They come from plants. When they have water and warmth, they can grow into new plants. So seeds need two things. One thing is water. The second thing is warmth. Warmth, where do seeds get warmth? They get it from the sun. The sun will shine and warm the plants. And the plants take the sunlight, right? And they can grow bigger. They need water and they need warmth. Those are two of the things that plants need. They need other things, but those are the two main things. So, we have the seed. What is it doing here? This shows part of the life cycle of a plant. Here is a seed. What happens to the seed? It goes and it grows into a small little plant here, a baby plant. We'll talk about that later. And here it becomes an adult plant. Okay? If we make that picture larger, we see the sunflower seeds. It grows into the baby plant, which we call a seedling. Kachimalheo. Seedling. Seedling. So a seedling is like a baby plant. It's just starting to grow. Where is the seed? The seed is under the ground. Then it becomes a plant with flower. It's an adult plant. An adult plant and it has a flower. Where are the seeds? The seeds are inside the flower and it starts again. This is the life cycle of a plant. We can see that here. The life of a sunflower. Okay, very interesting. Let's talk about wind and seeds. When we think about seeds, they need water, they need warmth, but they also need space. They need to travel. How do seeds go to another place to make a new plant? How do they do that? Well, let's talk about wind. Wind and seeds. In this picture, what do you see? You see a boy, he's blowing on a flower, a type of plant. And you see these little things here? These are seeds. We'll talk about those very soon. Let's read. Seeds get to new places in many ways. So there are many ways that seeds go and travel to make new plants. Sometimes the wind blows them. So we have the wind, and the wind blows the seeds to different places. Okay? Some seeds have little parachutes to help them float. A parachute, okay, if I jump from a plane, I'm in an airplane, be hangy day, and I go, jump, ah, am I crazy? No, I have a parachute. I pull a string and poof, a big piece of cloth stops me. That's a parachute. And I can fly through the air with my parachute. Some seeds have wings. We'll see a picture of that, okay? So that's uh, uh, two ways, or one way, that seeds will travel. Did you know that nearly all nuts are seeds? Do you like peanuts? Do you like walnuts? Do you like pecans? Those are all seeds. Walnuts, hazelnuts, macadamia nuts, mashisoyo, right? Especially with chocolate, <laughs> okay? Chocolate macadamia nuts are good, but these are all seeds. That's another way 
that seeds travel. We'll talk about that later. But let's talk about parachutes and wings. Here we see the same picture. The boy, whoo, he's blowing on a plant. What kind of plant? What's the name? The name is dandelion. Do you know dandelions? When you go out in the spring and you can see the dandelion, you can pick it and whoo, blow the dandelion, all the little seeds fly away. These are like parachutes. They catch the wind and they can fly. It's like having a parachute. And the parachute carries the seeds far away and they will grow into new dandelions somewhere else. Now, some seeds have wings. Wow, it's really chummy soil. It's like a butterfly or a bat, right? So seeds also have wings. Did you know that? I didn't know that. That's very interesting. So wind helps the seeds to go to different places. And that's how seeds can travel and make new plants in new places. Okay, well that brings us to the end of part one. What will we discover about plants in part two? I hope you join me in part two and we'll learn more about seeds. See you then.